In the Middle East's booming market for luxury cars, everyone's always trying to stand out from the crowd. That's why, as part of celebrations to mark its centenary, Aston Martin flew one of its limited edition red vanquishes onto the helipad of the self-rated seven-star Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai. The stunt forms part of a host of spectacles and special events planned by Aston Martin to mark 100 years in the business. But despite the carmaker's long and illustrious history, its sales figures have dropped in recent years, though executives are hoping that the trend will turn around with the announcement of plans to invest a billion dollars in new products and technology. Expansion is also on the horizon, with both China and the Gulf seen as key markets for growth. Dealers in China, they have just started uh, and they will be in three, four years in a very strong position because they will understand the brand, uh, they will have they developed a customer base and so in, in, a, in, a, in a time horizon up to five years we will have a very strong hold in, in China. This is how we approach these markets. And, in, and let me say, uh, for me, the Middle East is also a market like this which needs development uh, and this is why we are present now in Dubai uh, and hopefully in a, in a foreseeable future also in Abu Dhabi uh, and, and, and grow uh, the, the understanding and, and the visibility. Perhaps best known for supplying vehicles to British spy James Bond, Aston Martin may yet have a few more stunts up its sleeve.